is up guys welcome back to a brand new video today we are talking about something that is so so important this will change the game for you printing your own hue forges at home and that is how to get faster prints when printing hue forge we all know that hue forges take forever to print y'all have been there where you slice up a file and it shows you that it's going to take between six and ten hours for a 200 by 200 and that is a significant amount of time and if you're like me time matters. I need my printers to be open so that I can be printing more things for my conventions, for my customers, and having faster prints helps me accomplish that. So today we are going to be talking about a couple of key settings that you can change in your slicer to speed up the print time of your Hue Forges. So with all that being said, let's dive right in. All right, so we are in here inside of Hueforge. Now, there's actually not anything that we need to do inside of Hueforge. As you can see, I have this awesome Alphonse Elric 3D print that I have made up here. It's just a color pop print. I love this thing. It's on my printer right now. Very excited for this thing to be done. Um, as you can do, see, I've done a couple things with this print here. I've upped my base thickness to 0.8. I've done that because there is a lot of black. You know that if you have a lot of that base layer that's showing through, then you run the risk of it being really flimsy. Actually, it will just be flimsy. So you can up the base thickness by quite a bit in order to get a thicker base of your Hue Forge. And so as you can see, well, it's very tough to see, but this is significantly thicker down here than what it would have been if you kept it at the standard 0.48. So this will add print time. If you up the base thickness, that is more layers at 100% infill, it's going to increase your print time. And you have to take that into consideration when you make your base thickness a little bit bigger. But there is a sweet little trick that we can use inside of Bamboo Slicer. It's really just Orca Slicer or any slicer that you use. There's a trick that we can use to cut that print time significantly. So let's head over to the slicer and take a peek at some of our settings that we can finagle to get this printing super super quick okay so i am in here in my slicer and you can see that we have our print sliced up here i'm on just a basic bamboo lab p1s setup I'm using my cool plate we have our filaments in we have our swaps over here on the on the right and i'm actually just going to move myself down here so that you can see what we're working with just a little bit better just like that we'll stay like that Y'all can see over here, we have our color swaps. They're there, trust me. Okay, so we are going to play around with one key setting, and that is something called a height range modifier. If you've heard of a height range modifier, it's this neat little trick where you can tell the slicer and you can tell your printer to print at different layer heights depending on some, you know, variables that you can set. And so we are going to add a height range modifier to our... Uh, STL right here. So we're going to come over here to the objects tab, make sure you're in the prepare section and you're going to right click and you're going to select this option right here, height range modifier. And you're going to see that something is added right here. Now we have our height range here. That This is us telling the slicer what to take into consideration, what, you know, millimeters, what section of the print do we want to actually modify? And then we have our settings that we can do right here. Really, what we want to do is go back to that base layer that we had defined here inside of Hueforge. So we have our base thickness and that's set to 0.8. So I'm going to come back to my slicer and where it says height range zero to two millimeters, I'm going to type in 0.8. And that is me telling the slicer that I want to edit everything in between zero, the base, and 0.8. That's the that's just going to be solid black. There's not going to be any detail that is put onto that base layer because it's it's the base layer. So we have 0.8 there. And then we want to come here to layer height. Now we want to adjust our layer height to something that multiplies into 0.8. Okay. I know it sounds a little confusing. All that means is that we want to pick like a number that is higher than 0 0.08 that divides evenly into 0 0.8. It is always in Hueforge, always being if you're starting and just getting used to the program, going to be 0 0.24. 0 0.24. That's going to divide nice and evenly 
into our point eight. Now you could go for point two, but we can really up it just a little bit to point two four, and it be it be really good. You can also like if let's say you point point two one layer height. Um, when you go to slice it, you're actually going to get an error telling you that you can't do this um, because that doesn't divide evenly into that 0.8 number. And so you just want to pick 0.24. That's typically always going to divide nice and evenly into your uh, into your STL there. And so we have our setting here. Now we're going to keep our sparse infill density at 100%. We want to keep that infill the same. Wall loops right there the same. Layer height 0.24 strength. It's going to stay set to that 100% rectilinear um, like we normally do for hue forges. Everything else is going to remain the exact same. Now, if you remember, when we had first sliced it, it was going to take roughly three hours to print. I'm going to go ahead and start the slice now. And hopefully we will see some of that time shaved off. Now, to be transparent with you, this is going to be different for every single print that you do. Sometimes it might save you three hours and other times it might save you 20 minutes. But save time is saved time. And it's always worth checking because you can get some really good results. And then right here, model printing time. So we went from three hours and four minutes all the way down to two hours and 12 minutes, essentially saving us about an hour of print time. And if you're someone that calculates, you know, cost per print hour, if you're someone that is into all of that math, you know that this is a significant amount of saving, especially if you want to print 10, 20, 30 of these in succession um, for your online store or for a convention coming up, you're going to save a day's worth of time by just doing the height range modifier. It's a pretty neat trick. I would love to hear how you have incorporated this into your workflow. How much time have you saved? Is this something that you don't want to touch? It's a little scary. Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your experience with playing around with height range modifiers. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. If you haven't already, just subscribe, do it. It helps me out a ton. I'm super thankful for each and every one of you being here with me today. Huge shout out to all of my patrons over there on Patreon. Y'all help me do what I love to do best and I could not be more thankful for you guys. And so if you want to check out my Patreon, you can get this file is actually already released on Patreon. So go check it out. Um, you can also get custom one-on-one -on -one Hue Forge coaching from me. If you're wanting to learn more about the program and just grow in your ability to create awesome Hue Forge prints, you can check out my Hue Forge Pro tier over there on Patreon. There are five spots left and you can get that customizable one-on-one -on -one coaching from yours truly. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday, a wonderful weekend, and I will catch you guys in the next one.